In the world of Linux, there are countless lightweight distributions, but few are as extreme as SlyTaz. SlyTaz stands for Simple Light Incredible Temporary Autonomous Zone. It's a tiny Linux distribution with an ISO file size of just 50 MBs, and it can run with as little as 192 MB of RAM. That's right, 50 MB, this isn't a typo. It was built with one goal in mind, revive old weak computers and offer a minimal fast desktop environment for users who want full control over their system. But be warned, this minimalism comes at a cost. The biggest strength of SlyTaz is its lightweight nature. It boots within seconds even on ancient hardware. It uses a simple open box based desktop environment which is minimal but fast. On a system where Windows XP would choke SlyTaz flies, it can even run entirely from RAM, turning your old machine into a responsive workstation, at least on paper. However, this speed comes with major compromises. The interface is basic, eye candy none. Advanced graphical features or modern UX or get it. It's all about speed and simplicity, nothing more. Here's where the problems begin. The modern hardware. Wi-Fi adapters may not work. Touchpads might be unresponsive. Graphic drivers for newer cards rarely supported out of the box. Even in virtual machines like VirtualBox or VMware, users report issues. The system freezes, the mouse doesn't move, the keyboard stops working. Yes, solutions exist in the forums, but SlyTaz expects the user to dig deep. There's no guarantee of a plug-and-play experience. For a beginner, this can be extremely frustrating. SlyTaz uses its own package manager. Taz PKG, it's lightweight, fast, and very limited. There's no support for Flatpak, Snap, or App Image. The software repository is small. Modern tools like VS Code, Zoom, or even updated web browsers may not be available. Out of the box, you get simple older programs like LeafPad, Midori, and Xterm. They're functional, but not fit for heavy browsing, media consumption, or office productivity. If your goal is to just get stuff done with modern tools, SlyTaz might let you down. Who is it for? When if you have an ancient PC sitting in a closet, have you enjoyed debugging, fixing, and learning how Linux works under the hood? If you want maximum control over a minimal system, then SlyTaz might be perfect for you. But if you're looking for a daily driver with convenience, app availability, and modern usability, this is not it. OxlyTaz is more of a learning tool than experimental distro or revival project. Not a full-featured everyday OS. SlyTaz Linux represents the radical side of minimalism. It's blazing fast, incredibly lightweight, and impressively compact. But it demands effort. It demands time. And it demands patience. It's not built for the average user. It's built for tinkerers, for people who love control and don't mind a few bugs and limitations. If you enjoy building things from the ground up, or want to challenge yourself with the bare essentials, SlyTaz is a fascinating experience. But remember, speed without compatibility and simplicity without usability can become a limitation. Well, the question is, do you want pretty and heavy or ugly and fast? Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Linux content, tech tutorials, and deep dives into unique distros like this one. Got questions or thoughts about SlyTez? Drop a comment below. I read every one of them. See you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop learning.